Pilates, the peanut butter to that girl's jelly, the secret to Hollywood's hottest models' bodies, and the craze that has taken over our For You page. As the world reopens and more of us are trying Pilates for the first time, the question is which Pilates class is worth it, especially when some are a hundred freaking dollars per class. <laughs> Over the last three years, I've been testing Pilates studios from New York, Toronto, Edmonton at home workouts, and now I'm going to rank them in terms of quality, workout, price, experience, perceptive from a non Pilates pro to a Pilates enthusiast. Let's dive into it. First, probably the most famous of Pilates classes, Legree. There's different forms of Pilates, you'll see them all. There's Reformer, there's Mega Reformer, Matt Pilates, Legree. Mega reformer, this bad boy you're working on. So it's gonna be an hour, you're gonna be doing different cables, you're gonna be sliding up, you're gonna be doing crunches. Check in process is seamless. It's like any soul cycle berries, any of those upper price point, you can reserve it, you can cancel, you buy a five pack, you buy a 10 pack. It's gonna hit you at 37 Canadian, that's 28.9 American. Classic price for an overpriced fitness class. Overall, I'm not wowed, I'm not disappointed. Legree is what you should expect from a reformers class. Always consistent. You're getting a good one, they've got decent trainers. Some cities, I like the trainers better than others. I'm just gonna be transparent. The tea is exceptionally good today. If you gotta try one, I say try Legree. Cause then you know where to base your opinions off. It's a nice baseline, Legree. I love it. It's what you come for when it comes to mega reformer Pilates. But be warned, just know the first time is a major learning curve. You're not really gonna get it for like five classes. All these videos I'm showing you right now, that's kind of the exercises you're gonna be doing. Just be warned, it, it's, it's gonna be rough the first few times. Overall, I give Legree a four out of five. Second, we're gonna go at home, we're gonna do an app. The queen of Pilates herself, it's in her name, Blogaudis. I still don't know how to say Casey, Cassie. Oh my God, is it Cassie? Da, 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 da. Okay, it is Cassie, I just double <laughs> guessed myself. First, her app, it is stunning. It's just everything you want, like this thing is not cheap. There's places to record your progress. It's got different options. Your mood, you can track your energy levels. The style of Pilates, it's more matte. Hers tends to be a bit more bubbly. There's like the bubbly Pilates and there's the like borderline yogi meditation side. She's in the bubbly, quirky energy. And there's the peace zen zone. Overall price, it's a free trial, $8.99 Canadian, $6.99 American. Overall experience, it was the prettiest app. It was the greatest app. I don't like the idea of progress pictures, but they're also great and I get it. So you could lie like me and just take a photo of a camera. It makes you upload uh, progress photos, which I'm about. It's more important than the scale, things like that. But what happens if you don't want to take photos? You got to, but you know what I'm just going to do? I'm just going to take one photo of you guys. Here's your stunning before photo. <laughs> Who it's best for? People who like her workouts on YouTube. I would say if you don't like her workouts on YouTube, don't bother. Don't bother this out. Try her if you like her personality, you like that bubbliness, you like that kind of character, you're gonna like her workout. Today it has me doing a fat burning cardio, slim and sculpt beginners, pop Pilates, ultimate butt back arm challenge, beautiful body, 14, 7, 17, 6, which is a total for 44 minutes. It is a very basic. Pilates. A lot of these are going to be the same because you'll realize Pilates for the most part is a basic group of exercises and it's how you package this that suits your specific needs and there's also the level of education the person has. But overall, it's just a great place for her community and that's why I dove in. I was like, I respect this. I had a good giggle. I had a good laugh at the first video and maybe this is just a YouTuber thing. This is not her. She has a whole team. She has an empire. So for all I know, she's never even seen the workouts she has on there. I will say they're all old YouTube videos, which I also get. If someone is following all your YouTube videos and wants to do workouts. I want it all streamlined. So she put it into an app. It makes sense. But sometimes I'm like, shouldn't you have different workouts on an app? But that defeats the purpose because people just want a place for the workouts. You know what I mean? I get it. But the first one had to have been like an eight year old YouTube, like in the like slime era. Oh my God. Hi guys. How's it going? Check out my shoes. Emoji, emoji, bright colors, crazy things in the background. How you do? That era. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it's not her. We all did it. It was just a tell the time. So it's funny they still used it. If I hired people to have an app and they put a video on me from five years ago, fired. I'll give her a 3.5 out of five. Reason, great app. You gotta be in her community, I feel. Then you're gonna love it. If you're not really into her YouTube videos, you're probably not gonna find much use for it. Studio number two, solid core. I went all the way to New York specifically for this, for you guys. Well, actually I did it for other reasons, but me and Sav, I was like, Sav, I'm doing a Pilates workout. We don't have solid core in Canada. Let's try it out. Today we are at solid core, a New York staple. Your thoughts on solid core? I love it because it humbles me. I die every time. I was like, get back up. So, okay, let's try this. First 
check in progress, it's the exact same as the Greek. You do a class, you got an app, you book into that, but they also are on ClassPass, which we'll talk about later on. So you check in, you book your class, you book a one drop in, 37 American, so that's 48. 50 Canadian, that works. In New York at least, they give you a punch code and use this punch code to get in to the studio, which I thought was unique. As you walk in, you have a place to put your lockers, and a long, narrow, similar to the Gris with the Mega Reformers. The Mega Reformers is pretty much the exact same. It's the exact same kind of workout as Solicor. What's the difference? I'm gonna give you three seconds to try and figure it out. It's in the name, three, two, one, it's core. At least for me, I just noticed there was a lot more focus on your core. Pilates is very core. It's kind of their selling point that like they engage your abs. I did notice I sweat a lot in this. This one is more about like combining your cardio and Pilates, which for someone who tends to like higher intensity activities, love, but also I'm like Kelty, isn't that completely defeating the purpose of why you do Pilates? Yes, because <laughs> I do Pilates because everything else I do is too extreme. I go to berries, I run, I sprint. I need a bit more of like, just be one with your body. Overall experience, pretty much the exact same as the grade, just higher intensity. Who is it best for? Similar to the grade, you want to get into, you want to get a sweat. You're not in the mood for weightlifting right now. If you're in that phase where you're like, I just don't feel like lifting weights, I know the benefit of resistance training, a solid core could be good. You're still getting some resistance training benefits. You're getting your heart rate elevated, and it's a nice complement to a lot of other exercises. It's still about a five class learning curve for it, so just be prepared. The first five classes, you'll look like an idiot, but no one's looking at you because they're concentrating on themselves. Overall, we have a 4.1. No, no, 3.9, 3.9, because it's my favorite. But it's not why I do Pilates. <laughs> I'd rather slow Pilates and more intense hit class. We're on to our second app, the ultimate girl crush for that girl's Melissa Woodhealth. This app is what I think when I think Pilates. Now don't get me wrong, the log Pilates is fine, but it was a lot more color, poppy, bright, vibrant. I think Pilates, I think like you said, neutral. Aerial font, cream background, little green accent, lemon water, matching yoga sets, aloe yoga. That's Pilates. That is Melissa Wood Health. That is what I'm coming. Does that mean no? <laughs> for one day a week, for two hours, I will embrace that, and she is that. The style of the workout is classic matte Pilates. That is her through and through. She does do some other things in the app as well, but I found that it was very traditional Pilates. You're gonna do a lot of core engagement, a lot of mobility work, you can do inner thigh work, you can do calves, you're gonna work on your posture correction. That alignment that Pilates is known for. The price was a little bit more expensive than Blog Lotties. It was $13.49 Canadian, $10.40 Americans. Can I also, can for once, I would just like a like. I'm gonna ask for it because I took the time to do the conversions for my Canadians and Americans, because I see you both. Also, I don't get any of the prices in American. I get them in Canadian, so I had to convert them for my Americans, because I know a lot of you are. So, if you could take a second, go through a like, I would appreciate it. I'm gonna, I don't ask for that, but I did math for you. <laughs> <laughs> Overall experience, I, I won't lie, this is what I want. I would say, is it technically my favorite form? Because no, Pilates isn't really my favorite form. It's like a once a week part of my training program. And when I do it, I want it like this. I want neutral colors, I want pretty, I, even how she talks, it's very peaceful. There's like lightness to the air. It is a sense of eucalyptus that she speaks and just ha. Oh. That's how I feel and that's what I want. Who's it best for? That girl, that girl, that's who it's for. Or if you wanna be that girl, if you're like me, you're like, I'm that girl once a week. Or if you're full that girl, she's that girl. If you don't know what that girl is, this makes no sense. <laughs> Overall rating? 4.5 out of 5. Like, it didn't have all the sparks and whistles of the other app, but like, my god, it was Pilates. Ugh. Aloe yoga. We're gonna have to talk about this, but I'm just pissed off at this. Do I love aloe yoga? Yes. Is this suddenly become overpriced? Is this suddenly the Chanel of fitness clothing? Yes. Do I love it? Yes. Is this ass? Awesome. I did it for a whole stretching routine, but I'm mad at it because I didn't know about the automatic renewal after a year, and I just found out doing this that I paid $200 a couple months ago for no reason. I didn't even know I had this app because I bought it a year ago and then I deleted the app. It was on the app store. You know how you can go unsubscribe? If you didn't know, as soon as you buy an app, instantly go turn off the subscription so it doesn't automatically renew because then you never forget about it and you can just go renew it again when that time comes and you suddenly can't log into the app. So as soon as I buy an app, I automatically go cancel the renewal. But you had to sign up on the website. And do you think I remember that? No, I don't check my emails. I'm the person everyone hates. I don't check my emails. It's a character flaw. And because of that, I lost $200. So I have to own that I'm the villain. It's not aloe, I'm the problem. But I'm upset, it is a pretty app, great clothing, they had some awesome instructors, 
really well formatted. It is the epitome of that girl as well. The aesthetics, I love it, but I'm mad at you, so I'm not even gonna review it. I would give you a five out of five, but you're giving me a zero, zero, because of my own stupidity. This is on me. I'm just being stubborn. I should probably go cancel that. Third studio, I'm just gonna classify this as the bougie studio. A lot of these things we're doing, we see celebrities are doing Pilates. We're not really doing what celebrities do. Legree isn't really it. These classes that, what Kendall Jenner and Hailey Bieber, they're going to places like Erica Bloom, that are 200 an hour. I'm not against it because that's the point. Because only those people can afford it and so that's how they make sure only those people go so Kendall Jenner isn't being paparazzi. Because if we go to the same place Kendall Jenner does, what's gonna happen the whole time we're like this, but I get a photo, get a photo. That's what we're doing, whole time. So she's paying the extra for the individuality. So I've never treated myself to it. So I had this video. So I went to The Well, which is a classic reformer Pilates. So this is actually what a reformer is versus the mega reformer at Solicore Legree. This is a classical reformer. Oh my God. This is what I hope I am in 20 years. Like hot mom status, dropped off the kids at sports. Before I go and run my business or do whatever the hell I'm doing, you're going, you're going and doing this. It was phenomenal. The price here was 44 Canadian, $39 American. So it is cheaper than like the $200 ones, but this is definitely the most expensive one on the price list. But with these, they tend to be almost like personal training. I lucked out it was just me, um, but there was supposed to be someone else. But usually there's only like three or four people. It's a lot more one-on-one -on -one versus these big classes. They can't really correct your form. They can see little things. There's a difference from an instructor caring for 20 people and just being like, oh, that girl in the back, I'll just go correct her. And someone the whole entire time just concentrating on your form correcting, because that is such a thing about Pilates is it's really that mind muscle connection it's proper form it's engaging muscles that might be challenging to engage in other things so I found that really beneficial and oh my god I left feeling really good I just got in off the plane I was feeling broken I went to my instructor I was like can you help me I'm really tight I'm jet lagged I want to of course get a workout in but more importantly I just want to leave feeling really good and mobile and she did that so that's where it's really beneficial is more on the line of like personal training the better the instructor the more education they have the more ability they have about just exercise science and kinesiology and she was a former athlete so we really resonated if you're in Vancouver and have the money highly recommend she just opened up this business it is beautiful if you ever have a chance to treat yourself I'd say try this I want to recommend this to start though start with science files see if you like Pilates and this is kind of good thing to work towards. Of course, if you're loaded, go for it. But overall experience, honestly, this was a five out of five experience. I will knock it though, 4.5, because it is expensive. I won't talk too much because I got what I paid for. Like I left and was like, that was worth every penny. For a studio, we're just gonna say mat Pilates. So this is also the basic, the at-home workouts. You're just on a mat, think yoga, but it's Pilates. The difference yoga is a lot more like flows and holding postures. Pilates is a lot more align your posture and pulses. I love house concepts in Vancouver. That's not a universal. I'm gonna though just say class pass. Class pass is your best bet. In every city, you're gonna find a classic mat Pilates. It's gonna differ between each city. Look for like a 25 to $30 Pilates class. See the instructor, see the rating on class pass. Great way to test it for a reasonable price. I get class pass. I try all the different mat classes. Eventually I'll like find a class studio I really like and then I'll just buy directly from that studio. Kind of do get an elevated experience. Most of these nice places now have that app. They have a website. It's really nice. It syncs into your Google calendar, but you can pretty much expand like house here. It's $35 Canadian, which is $27 American. So that's kind of what you can expect to pay for a one-time drop-in. Who's this best for someone starting out? One of the biggest apps in the app store. We tried Glow. Accountability is your problem. This might be the best app because they actually have live classes that you can sign up for. So they have a couple streamed a day. And I do find there's an accountability to workouts when you have a specific time. That's why I like doing studio classes personally because I have to buy it. And if I don't show up, I lose the class or I have to pay money. And also there's someone at the front desk who sees Kelty slept in. I've worked in fitness studios and you see when they cancel it. So when you cancel at 2 a.m. on a Saturday, they know, they know you're crushing some Mickey D's after a 2 a.m. tequila bender. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Let's cancel this. It's not happening. I need to sleep. And they know. And I know that they know. And I do it quite often. 
and it's a character flaw. Now this I liked, but I'm feeling this a bit more yoga meditation. It's got Pilates classes. The whole time I feel like I'm being fed flows and yogas. In theory, this is the best app. It's the most catered towards Pilates, yoga, they have the live streams, there's a search, but for me, one big annoying thing is they hire out a lot of instructors from different places, and I, I know this is really, really picky, but I'm just being honest. The audio was really bad, and my audio isn't perfect sometimes, I get it. Every person was like at home doing their thing, and it was studios from all over the world, so it was just inconsistent. Sometimes it'd be great audio, it'd be perfect, and the next one I'd be, ooh, that's an echo. And also it's more expensive, so for me, I'd rather support one, like, woman entrepreneur, a 2.5 out of 5. It it works. I like the live streams, but I'm like, eh. Next, Apple Fitness Plus. If you didn't know, you are your Apple Watch and you go into the center, there's Fitness Plus. They have a whole curated thing of workouts and they do have a plotty section. And oh my God, we live in the future. Obviously, Apple just takes everyone else's and be like, oh, you have that feature? Watch us magnify it. Just even the audio is perfect. It syncs in with your watch so it shows like your calorie burn, your heart rate, your move circle, all that. You can either put it on your Apple TV or your phone, or your iPad, it all just instantly syncs. So nice. It is the best experience ever on a workout app, and it's almost not fair. Style Pilates, it really, they have a few instructors there, and you can really find the style for you. They were all matte, but some were a lot more hit, and some were a bit more meditational, but they had a wide variety, and they seem to have new ones pumped out every week. The price is $2.99 Canadian, which is about $9 American, and the nice thing is you do get a lot of other classes. Apple just has so much money, and the consistency that like Glow didn't have, it's all filmed in this place, I believe it's in New York, and it's just perfection. So who's the best for? Anyone with Apple Watch that wants to do Pilates at home. It's great. I almost don't want to promote it, because I want to be like, you, you own my life. You don't need any more promotion. You're probably watching this on Apple products. You, it doesn't need any more promotion. And here I am promoting Apple products for no money. It's not sponsored. I'm gonna give it a four out of five reluctantly. I'm gonna give it a 3.5 because they don't need it, but it's like low key, it's the best. But also, Apple, if you wanna sponsor a video, I will give you five out of five for the rest of my life. All morals out the window as soon as Apple's offered. It moves with Nicole. The second I watched her video, I felt relaxation just on the beach, her music, her voice. She just has YouTube videos, that's all I did. So the check in process is just opening up YouTube, endless availability for you and different workouts. She's constantly putting them out. Price free style, matte Pilates, all a lot outside. She's doing it. These are kind of those nice little things of when you're like, I'm in a mood for Pilates. She's like a back pocket for me. So peaceful. And I love everything she did. She had great workouts. If you want a good Pilates class, recommend. I'm gonna give her like a 3.5 just, just because everyone else had apps and this and hers is just YouTube videos, but also sometimes that's all you need. I don't know, I just, I'm just not really giving fives. I'm trying to be like, oh, you really gotta earn it. I really gotta be wow. But she is phenomenal. So that's why I was like, 3.5 if we're like talking at all. But I mean like for what she does, she's just there giving us free content. We love it. It's just, oh, peaceful. So we're gonna do my overalls. My best experience, app-wise, Apple Plus. But that's just because I'm a nerd. A lot of people will like Melissa Wood Health, just the that girl, the aesthetic. Vlogilates, Cassie has the entire app. Like it is a beautiful app. And if you like her workouts, you're gonna be obsessed with the app. But Apple, it just worked. It went on my TV. And for studios, the well. It was expensive and I usually have not one to like choose most expensive. I felt I actually got the most money worth. Like sometimes the other classes, I feel like I'm just herded in with sheep. This was only about $10 more and I got such a hands-on experience and I'd really rather just do that once or twice a month than one to two Legree classes a week. Now, best bang for your buck. I am going to say Legree and class pass because solid core was more expensive. That's what you're gonna pay now. Inflation, $35 for a class. It's a nice treat. Is it an everyday thing if you got the money? But I find you do get good workout, you get good instructors, it is Pilates. I was like, it is the best bang for your buck and it's crazy that that's not overly expensive in the Pilates world because we're talking like $200 classes. So for $35, I'm like, it's the best bang for your buck and that's the one I do the most often. Honorable mention, I'm gonna say House, Vancouver. I like you. It's, it makes me feel like, mm. And my worst, Aloe. Is this me being bitter? Is this me kind of having a scapegoat? Because I haven't really had an awful experience. I'm just stupid and I'm mad at you. But it's me, it's a me problem. I'm the villain in this. I'm just saying, I, I spent $200 because I didn't check my emails, so. Allo, you got my money and I didn't even use it, so you're just literally laughing. I'm still buying Allo products. Yeah, I have the problem in this. Anyways, comment down below your favorite Pilates workouts. If you guys want me to review 
fitness classes. Maybe we can do a little series of this. I can compare all, like we can do Orange Theory Fitness to berries, all that. Or if you want me to do like, I used to do what's expected a bar class. I just know a lot of us are getting back into fitness classes because we can. Let me know now in the comments. Most importantly, have a great day. Don't take this too seriously. It's just my own experience and just thought, you know, that's kind of what to expect if you decide to do Pilates like every other that girl. Embrace your that girl. I'm not that girl, but like I aspire to be her on Sundays. Have a fabulous day, good friend dog. Love you guys, bye.